I can't tell, but it's just rip and drag. Just got done fishing for stripers. We're all packed up now and heading to Florida. I got faith driving because I'm tired as hell. Planning on editing a little bit during the drive, but my laptop's dead, so it's not happening, so I'm just gonna take a nap instead. But we'll see you in Florida. So we're in Florida. Let me tell you, it feels great to be fishing in a t-shirt again. It's been so cold up in East Tennessee, but got in late last night. I'm out here, brought the girlfriend, met up with Rob Brown. He's down there getting ready. He swears we're gonna catch some big bass, so we'll see, hopefully. So check this out guys, we are in a secluded river in, in uh, northern Florida and look at that. We got ripples and rapids. I didn't even know Florida had a river like this, it's crazy to me. Promise you we are not up in the north somewhere, we are actually in Florida. Look at all that vegetation there, all those palmettos right there, this place is crazy. Even a bluegill can smash a top water <laughs> as long as they grab the hooks first. <laughs> we were just talking about that. I'm about to start throwing the jig. First few seconds. Yeah, first fish of the day. He's a little one, but hopefully there's more to come. Literally just turned my camera off, and then I look down and my line's moving. Come here. They got all kind of colors on them. Pretty little fish. There we go. didn't really listen to me and she ended up shooting this rapid by complete accident flint pinned up on a rock and didn't a turtle but that's kind of kind of wild her first rapid experience here's where we gotta be careful with snakes yeah, yeah. we literally just about stepped on this guy while we were dragging the kayaks over i'm like 85 percent sure it's not poisonous or venomous but i don't know what, what were you thinking <laughs> Seriously? Not the ones we want. But at least we're catching fish though. Dude, that, that is a freaking... That is a monster. 
It's a monster freaking that's like, mudfish. That's like a five, six pound freaking mudfish. Like easy. Good God. Rob just caught a freaking monster bowfin. I mean, he thought we, we thought he had a huge bass because it was rip and drag, but yeah, you know, it's like it's it's just a freaking monster. He thought he had a good bass on. I mean, one of the most ridiculous hooks that's ever seen in my life. I don't know, dude. What was it? What'd you lose? No. Yeah. I mean, it was only like 15 bucks, but like this thing just like got wedged in there. That was actually really easy. Yeah. I'll run that with gear after knowing how that works, because I thought those rocks they were gonna be a problem, but she just went right over. Yeah. Yeah, you got some baits floating right here. Dude, <laughs> you would have been better off just running it. Dude, I thought he got off. Holy ah. shit, this is a strong fish, dude. He's always taking me to the tree. It's a river fish. River monster, oh. son. I ain't have my other camera on. Yeah, you got it. Your, your head's up. There you go. Dude, oh my god. It's a ah. pig. Come on. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. Come on, dude. Wish I had a net right now. That's a pig. Oh. That is a pig. Yeah, that's buddy. sick. That's six plus. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know. My scale got soaked yesterday. Oh, man. Nope. 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 Get it. Get it. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's what we've been wanting. Thought she got off, dude. When she came up and rolled, my, I went slack, dude. Like, it went slack. Nice. There we go. That's, that's six plus. It has been a grind. I thought she got off, man. She came up and rolled and I saw like, I knew she was big cause when she darted out of there, I saw, I didn't see the fish, but I could see like boils. So I knew like, you know, it has to have a good sized tail to be able to do that. And then when she first came up on the surface, she like twisted around the line and it went slack. And I saw the back and I was like, man, that's a good fish. And I thought she got off. And then I reeled down and felt her again. So I kind of like reset the hook and there she is. That's easy six plus. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I just caught what I'm pretty sure is my new PB for the state of Florida because I've only caught like a couple fours and fives in Florida. Um, we don't have a scale. He had a scale, but it got fried yesterday. She's 23 and a half inches long. Isn't that what it was? 23 and a half inches long. I feel like she's probably somewhere over six. Um, Rob's saying probably close to close to seven, so it's probably somewhere in between there. We're gonna call her six and a half. But yeah, it's a good fish. It's been a really tough bite, so I've just been trying to find anything in my tackle box that, that might produce a big fish. And 
I was looking at these by Doomsday Tackle here. Doomsday Tackle Company. They're just the lagging dragons. It's basically just a stick bait. This crazy little tail on the end that gives it some crazy little like flutter action. And I just was throwing that Texas rig and she thumped it. And she was instantly like went, went towards deep water, was boiling. I could see the boil, so I knew it was a good fish because I couldn't even see the fish yet. And then she like twisted around the line and it just went slack. And I was like, oh my gosh, I lost her. And when she came up and rolled, I saw her, so I knew it was a good fish. And I was just like in panic mode. I reeled back down and felled her again. So I just set the hook again a little bit because I just wasn't sure what was going on. And then she was getting me around all these trees. It was pretty hectic, but got her in the boat. And oh, that was awesome. That was just, I don't even, this trip's been awesome. You know, you, you grind it out. Last day, catch a good one. That's that's what it's all about. Gotcha, gotcha. You're on awkward film right now. How do you feel? We grinded it out today. The bite was actually kind of tough, but we just kept kept at it, and we started finding fish. Started finding better fish, and I mean, we were on a crazy mudfish bite there for a while. I didn't catch any, but Faith and Rob did. But yeah, I mean, the bite was tough, but you know, just keep grinding out, and you find that good fish. And luckily. You know, I was able to find one. Probably, fish was probably about seven pounds. But it was a good trip. Scenery here is just amazing. Like, even just right here off the side of the road. Look at this. Craziness. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm also going to put links to Rob's Facebook and Instagram in the description so you can check him out. From here, I'm heading to South Florida. We're gonna be fishing for all kinds of crazy stuff, so be on the lookout for that episode. But yeah, I got I'm, I'm actually gonna be editing videos in the car, so I'm tired, I gotta hit the road. But I'll see you guys next week.